Hello again, everybody. Saturday morning, minus six degrees. Oh, man. Celebrate. start off by saying no new winch had to take it back off it's right in the back seat here it's got to go back it's okay got hash brown oh nice and hot well long story short got a defective winch from Harbor Freight Badlands, 12,000 pound winch. Started off, they got a call to pick up a Ford Focus wagon. Had a broken control arm sitting up on logs. So, one cat was missing, got deleted. The other one was there. So I didn't pay as much as I normally would. But the kid really needed it gone. I was sitting at an apartment building that I picked up a couple cars before. There's always broken down cars there. And a matter of fact, the guy that owns the building, it rents it out, he lives there too. And he's sort of like a scrapper, but he does like clean outs and stuff like that and gets rid of everything. Which I do sometimes too, but. So I know him, and I've actually picked up a couple cars because he has no way to uh, transport junk cars, so I've gotten a few from him. But anyway, I went over there, and I said. I get to use my brand new winch with my wireless remote and everything. Sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddle today. Oh yeah, nice and hot. It's got the little, little dabs of syrup in the little pancakey bun, if you would. Melted cheese, sausage, egg. Start the day off right. So, go over there. And uh, I also bought, I found out that these winches, they take a lot of power to run. My old winch, Speedmaster one, even the mile marker I had. You could run it off one car battery. But these ones work good. Everyone says they like them, but need a lot of juice. So I said, you know what? One of the batteries, on, I just had some junk car batteries on my trailer, just a couple of, you know, top posts, whatever. And uh, I used to have the Deep Cycle Marine batteries, but. Um, haven't come across any lately, so I went to uh, Walmart. I spent $85. I bought a thousand marine cranking amp battery, but it has to be the, the, the short one, the narrow one, to fit in the trays that are custom made by Jimmy Victoria. Rest in peace to him. But I bought that and I said, oh, I'm gonna buy one. And I might go back, I might buy another when they get another one in stock, but had it on there. So I go over to get the focus. I pay the kid for it, he cleans some stuff out of it, says I don't need anything else out of it. Well, I guess he didn't need like the five quarts of oil and transmission fluid and antifreeze and tools. But I thought he was talking like he was going to help me. 
sort of get it loaded up because one wheel was like this and one was facing the other way it was up on logs like I said but he took the money hopped in his rental car and screwed so three hours it was not enjoyable obviously I did not video anything but I hook up my brand new winch and uh, take my nifty apex wireless remote and I'm standing around and I'm hitting the winch and I'm winching from here to there and everywhere and every corner fell off the trailer three times no help so one time I'm winching in and it didn't sound right it sounded like a pulsation on the solenoids in the box you know instead of a steady it was a like that and I thought man I don't think that's right so all of a sudden it goes from pulsating to just pulling like crazy I let go of the button it goes by itself I go holy shit pulls the car up on my trailer tires all cockeyed and big old mess a good thing I put one of those shutoffs on my batteries this time. I just did it because I, you know, I had it sitting right there. So um, she had an incoming call, but I'm gonna have to wait. So I shut off the power. Turn the power back on, winch is still going. It's stuck. So I slap the solenoid box with my hand like that. Shuts off. I said, well, maybe it's brand new. Maybe it just stuck once, you know. So did it one more time. But I got the focus on there. And when I'm all done... The guy that I know that owns the building comes out. Oh, I was sleeping. Middle of the day. Yeah, I'll show you where. He's watching me out the window. So I start talking to him, and he says, Hey, how much you give me for a Chevy truck? A 2000. That same kid that had the Focus bought this truck off him. Never paid for it. He drove it, blew the tranny lines out, and just kept trying to drive it, and he toasted the trans right out of it. So he said, uh, how much you give me for this? So I went over, looked at it. I saw it had factory cats on it. So I offered him my price, and he said, yeah, I'll have to think about that. So he ended up calling me up, said, yep, come get that Chevy truck. So he said, might be able to put a couple quarts in and, and, you know, back it out of its spot. So anyway, I set up my uh, generic GoPro on the uh, back rack, figuring you guys can watch as I deal with shenanigans and uh, pull this truck up. We had to pull it out with one of his trucks, and uh, I put the fluid in. It wouldn't move. It... <clears throat> anyway, it was a big shenanigan mess, but... Come to find out, uh, too cold for the camera or something, and uh, didn't didn't record anything. So uh, I didn't get any of that footage. But when I got back, uh, I made the the video that you'll see next, a little clip, and uh, that's it. You got the uh, you got the cats cut off of it couple things taken off cleaned it out for the guy got all of his stuff out for him dug it out of the snow in the back because that's the kind of guy I am got a whole bin full of stuff for him to take back and uh, gonna bring it in get rid of it and on the way back 
got the winch back in the box. There's, uh, I didn't get the warranty on it, but there's 90 days anyway that you can bring it back and exchange it. So I'm well within that. And uh, I don't know. I'm gonna go tell him, you know, he almost killed me. But I guess it's just my luck. I haven't heard too many bad things about these winches as far as that happening, but it happened to me, so. Saturday morning, a little breakfast, get on the road, take this thing in, get rid of it. Make a couple of bucks and uh, that's it. I realized I forgot to mention that it's pretty obvious because I'm taking the winch back, but um, when I went to go pick up this truck, you know, the whole point is to be able to um, use the wireless remote when I'm in the car or standing outside the door of the car, steering it onto the trailer and hitting the winch at the same time. Because, um, you know, I'd, I'd always have to walk back and forth, cutting the wheel, and, or else have somebody else help, and they never seem to uh, turn the wheel the way you want it, you know. So, when I hooked it up, the winch did the same thing. Uh, it stuck on me. I had to run up there and shut it off. And uh, I even tried the manual remote that plugs right in that comes with it. And it did the same thing. So, defective. Well, there you go. You witnessed my brand new Harbor Freight Badlands 12,000 pound winch defective. Solenoids are making all sorts of noise. And it just uh, decides to keep going when it wants to, so that's pretty fun. even bought a brand new extreme marine starting 1000 cranking amps junk 4.3 2000 Chevy 1500 Some homemade rockers Look at the Ling Longs, huh? Ooh. Ling Longs, long time. Piece of junk. Blown transmission. Oh, yeah. Tailgate don't even open. Bumper? Oh, yeah, that's good. hate these goddamn running boards sitting right on the tire oh yeah just keep taping it these door handles are cheap mirrors I got a whole bunch of them oh yeah Man, these front Lee Longs are nice. What size of these? 235, 70, 16. Hmm. Junk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Factory kitties. This old Chevrolet. The only good thing, got a brand new battery. 
I put a brand new alternator in there. Oh yeah, that looks new. That looks brand new. 4.3. Put a brand new starter. Oh yeah. She's new. I'm gonna need the tires back. No. Nobody's getting any tires back.
like that we're all done heading home got another brand new Badlands winch swapped it out <coughs> they said that uh, they've never got hardly any comebacks on those winches Nobody ever really brings them back and returns them, other than a couple that I guess had a broken wire or something that people complained about that, but 
nothing like I said mine was doing. So she said, well, it's not bad once in a, once in a while, but not good for you. And I said, no. So I told her, I said, that thing almost killed me. I said, it just kept going. It's a good thing I put a battery cutoff to shut it off, but so no problem returning it. I actually decided uh, to just go ahead and buy the one-year warranty on it. Oh, that sun. Yeah, 80 bucks for a year. I mean, free replacement. So, I mean, pay the 80 bucks and then at the end of the year you can just uh, unbolt it, take it back, get a new one. Just like I did with my uh, earthquake impact gun. Um, the lady at Harbor Freight actually told me that you're, you're better off buying the warranty because she said, you know, the battery might get old and look at that, that sun just won't, won't go away. You know, it just uh, makes sense because you just you can just bring it back and just get a whole brand new one. It comes with a brand new battery and everything. So it's, uh, they're very easy to deal with there. They don't really question much. I, I did notice um, I brought it in on a cart and uh, she had me wheel it off to the side. And then when I took off, I got a new cart and I needed to uh, shop around a little bit and get my replacement. I looked back and she did open the box and she was looking inside, so uh, I know when I did my impact gun, they didn't look in there at all. They just slammed it down and that was it, but uh, good news is cats went up, prices, the market went up uh, yesterday. and. Uh, couple nice ones on that 2000 Chevy truck factory so uh, had a pretty good run today so we continue to come up it's warmed up to five degrees it's uh, almost three o'clock in the afternoon and uh, wasn't really ready to celebrate with uh, with chili or Wendy's or anything yet. That McDonald's breakfast is still kind of holding me down. I, uh, still doing pretty good, so I'm gonna save myself and uh, maybe later on do a little bit, celebrate, you know what I mean.